I don't know if um, crowd's the right word, um, excited, elated. Um, great college basketball game, elite game. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we haven't played these guys healthy. And, um, um, but I'm a much bigger believer in our team right now than I have been at any point this season. And uh, Lou Goody's performance, uh, Ty Rogers hasn't practiced all week. He's been back to strep throat. Uh, RJ um, woke up yesterday morning with it. Um, obviously, we don't know anything about Terrence. He's in, in, in concussion protocol, leading scorer, um, one of our best defenders. Um, and to see Matt Meyer step up, um, to see, um, you know, Jay Neps play great. Um, and, and, you know, I think everybody who knows anything about the game of basketball saw Luke Goody's value today. Uh, the ability to make shots, he never makes a mistake defensively. He gets his hands on loose balls. He's always in the right spot. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I just, a loose ball for a three is a big play in the game. Um, I, I, I got to look at the technical on Coleman. Um, I, that's energy and passion. I think they went on a 9 0 run right after that. Um, but, um, you know, great college basketball game. I don't want to take any of that away. I thought we did a great job on Trace. He's got 28 and 12. Um, you know, that's, um, I, I know what Mike's feeling. Um, you know, when you got one of the best players in the country. If not the best player, it's a pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good, pretty good feeling. So, um, but um, yeah, I feel I feel really upbeat, and um, un unfortunately, it's um, we, we're going to turn around and play again here on Monday in a, in a COVID makeup game. So uh, we got to we got to got to take the same kind of energy and turn that into uh, uh, a game on Monday. Brad, when did you know you didn't have Terrence for today? How do you feel like your team responded? To that? Penn State. Right after the game. So we've, 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 we've known he went into protocol that night. So um, it's, uh, you know, it's just the, the deal it is. And, and you know, we've, we've obviously lived protocol longer than anybody in America, I think, you know, with the guy missing 14 games a year ago. So uh, those things are what they are. And uh, uh, what we didn't expect was strep throat running through our team. And, and uh, 102 degree fever. So, um, but that's um, that's life in the Big Ten. That's not an excuse. That's not an excuse, man. That is Mike's doing a great job. That's a good basketball team. They whipped our butt. But that's 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 not an excuse. But uh, I'm 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 in a great place with the fight this team shows. Did, did they do anything that different in the second half to make it a little tougher on Matthew? No. No. Switched a couple times, but no, Matt, we got the ball to Matt anytime we wanted. He was the best player, other than Trace, was the best player on the court today. Did you have a sense going in that you'd have that fight? What did you see from the guys yeah. like, leading into this to perform like that? Well, first of all, we got embarrassed the first time we played. And, you know, Matt was sick in that game, and, and we, we we didn't play very well. Uh, they played great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, two great basketball teams, two teams that in postseason play can make a long, long run. And um, you know we 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 were dialed in and and they made a loose ball play that got him a three and you know that was a that was a big big play in the game. Coach Luke's a Luke Goody's an Indiana kid. What you what what were the conversations like with him heading into this game? None. Win. Just go play a win. I don't I don't I don't I don't get into any of that. You know it's always about us. It's not about the the individual. So there were there were none. We've talked a lot about Luke's return to see that actually come to fruition and, and have that performance. What does that tell you about maybe where this team can continue to take those steps? Yeah, it's, you know, I don't want to look back, but there's, there's, there's a reason he started in our scrimmage with Kansas. I mean, he, he was, he's, he's that valuable. And, uh, you know, you, we didn't have that. And uh, um, he's a guy that, that has stayed, had to stay patient. And, uh, He's very cerebral. He's very smart. He's got great feel. He's an elite shooter, 
and um, we've 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 missed that. You know, we're the second youngest team in college basketball, so we've missed that leadership. There's a guy who's been been through all of that, so um, you know that's that's something that uh, excites me for the future. That's a big piece of it. You had a couple of plays out of timeouts in the last ninety seconds or so. Did you get what you wanted? Maybe down the stretch from those. Well, we tried to get the ball to Matt. We tried to get the ball to Matt on the side out of bounds, um, and and that was great. We got Jaden downhill, which was exactly what we were trying to do off the um, off the last play. And then we didn't have a timeout, and we run a little waggle play, and RJ gets a great look. So, you know, we just in that situation we practice a lot with ten seconds to go. Uh, you know, five guys on the floor in space, and, and we run a little what we call a little waggle and. Um, and got that. The, uh, the side out uh, was, was intended to go to Matt or Dane at the rim, and uh, we, 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 couldn't, we couldn't get that down to the baseline. So, uh, But all in all, yeah, pretty pleased with what we got. I mean, RJ shot that last night with confidence. He had been on the court for a pretty long stretch. I mean, was that, I mean, just that kind of moment for him? Or you know, Wish we made it, but I, you know, I'm, I, I, no one's ever told RJ to quit shooting, and he's had a hard year, man. He's had a hard year, but um, you know, I sat on the bench. I sat exactly on the bench overtime as soon as he let it go, and um, you know, he had a tough day. He's been sick. You know, he missed four layups in the first four minutes of the game, and um, you know, airballed one, but. I knew he was going to make that one, and I got all the confidence in the world in RJ. I'm a, I'm the biggest RJ Melendez believer of all time because when he gets right, and I think he will, that elevates us to another level. You guys were able to make Trace work, turn him over a couple of times. What you make of defending him differently than in Champagne? Yeah, I mean we just we we threw the kitchen sink at him. You know, we came from different angles. We tried to get in gaps. Uh, you know, in the first game, you know, Geronimo just torched. Us. Geronimo was. You know, I thought Geronimo was an all league player that day. And, uh, um, you know, they, they um, you know, we want them to, you know, we, we felt like we could give some help off of, off of race a little bit. We could come from different angles. They did a nice job. You know, instead of putting Miller opposite, they put him in the strong side corner. Um, you know, they entered from the top a little bit. Uh, but, uh, you know, you figure out, believe me, I know, you figure out good ways to get post players involved. Craig Rogers has been playing some at the one. What have you seen from him when he's in yeah. that? Well, especially when you when they've got their four man guarding, and uh, you know that was advantageous for us. And uh, you know when we can get him into switches. Um, again, I feel bad for the kid because he's been he hadn't practiced. I mean, he he was he's been really sick and and dehydrated. And, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's something down the future we really like because he can. He's strong, he's a great passer, and he gets the ball where he wants to in the post. What explanation did you get on the technical on Coleman? Taunting. I haven't seen it yet, but I just, that I, I'm, 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 no one likes passion and energy and emotion more than me. I haven't seen it. I don't know if it was towards anybody. Um, you know, if that's the case, I, well deserved. Um, but, um, you know, I know that. There's a lot that goes on in a in a ball game when shots are made or dunks are made, and uh, but um, you know led to a it was unfortunate because it was a second he had to sit and and uh, hell of a play, hell of a play. And I and, you know it's what these kids see on TV, it's what they see in video games. I don't I don't know if it was directed at anybody, but uh, impactful play in the game, no doubt. Taking taking one of the best players in the league off the court. I think we're getting more comfortable in them. Um, you know, we had that long stretch. We won everything by double figures. And, and um, you know, you, you've got to be in those moments. Uh, Jaden has to step up the free throw line and make it. Ty won't foul the next time. Those are freshmen. Uh, playing crunch time, you know, in Assembly Hall, in a Big Ten game, it means a lot. Um, you know, um, we'll get on the floor for a loose ball. You know, it's all the little things. It's nothing. but. But I don't want to talk about those plays as much as there is, 
There was no, no, no more significance to those plays than there is any other play in the first half. You know, Dane, we throw the ball to Dane. He's got Luke Goody wide open in the corner. He tries to dribble it. Play with practice all the time and uh, making that pass. And, and you just you can't commit those. You, those are things that every play in the game is important. Thank you. Well,